Hello everyone and welcome back to another review. Uh, I am Tommy here with Lemon Vapes and today we are going to be talking about a mod that I have had for a very long time, a mod that a review is very long overdue for. Today we are going to be talking about the Stingray clone. Now, this mod I have been using constantly for the past two to three months. I got it online after watching a video on a Vaping with Twisted 420 when he talked about this mod. I saw it was a really good looking brass mod, so I decided to get it since I don't have a brass one. So, in short, I have had it for about two to three months and I have been vaping it with this setup currently with a Tobe clone and it has been performing perfectly and beautifully. So, um, without further ado, let's go up close and personal and talk about what this looks like on the inside. Alright, so here is the Stingray in all its glory, all taken apart with all the pieces that you will get when you order this. So first we will start off with a different tubing. So this is the main body, this is the piece of the tubing that you will be using no matter what configuration you have on your device. You can use this device with 18350, 18490, or 18650 configurations. If you just use this tube with the caps on it, it will be 18350. If you have this tube attached, it will be an 18490. And if you have this tube attached without this tube at all, it will be an 18650, which as you can tell is the way that I have been doing it, given the different patinas that are on these two tubes without that tube. So, those are those three pieces. This is your locking ring that you will use on your device. This device does have a magnet featured locking mechanism. As you can see, this is the button that is clicking. And then there is the top cap, which is a standard top cap with a 510 connection. And I will show you more about that when this is actually put together. So now I will put this together and I will show you exactly how it works. Alright, so this is how I have been using the Stingray since I have gotten it. I will put this piece aside for now. And basically here is the Stingray put together in 18650 mode. So, we will start off with the top cap and I will show you more in depth about how this actually works. As you can see, there is a plus sign right here on your device and this is not just for design there if you can look very closely I don't know if I can get that on camera but on each side of these um, four little lines uh, engravings in it you see that there are little air holes on the side now this device does have ventilation right here on the bottom but right now we're talking about the top and as you can see the top actually has again on the sides of it these four little slits right here and if you can tell this little air hole on the side goes down to here which provides airflow for whatever atomizer you put on here now on the bottom this is your locking ring and if you twist your locking ring counterclockwise it will lock your device hard to do since there's no atomizer on here I'll explain why that is if you can see it does not fire now because there is a ring stopping it from being pushed in more. Now if I put this back you can see that it, it does indeed fire. Now one of the things about this that I do not like is that there are certain spots where if you press it will not fire. For example if you press right on the sides of it it will not fire but if you press in the middle, it will every time, or if you press near the sides, it will give like a little click, but it will still fire, but there will be a little delay as you can see, click. 
So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach my atomizer on here and I will show you how you can fix this for battery rattle. Now for most atomizer, I mean for, no, for most mods, you adjust, there's like a little screw on the inside of the top 510 connection that you can adjust for battery rattle. But in this, the solution for battery rattle is in the button actually. So the button is connected through threading and when you see there's battery rattle right now, but if you twist this button more, it will fix that battery rattle. That little rattling you hear right now, if you can hear it, is from the locking ring itself because it wasn't fully locked. But there is no battery rattle now because what happens is you twist this, the connection goes up, and when the connection goes up, it leaves less room for the battery. And as you can see, it fires. So, what I will do now is we will go out back into normal view and I will show you how this vapes. Alright guys, so we're back and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drip some more juice on this because it is very dry. But as you can see, this device really is a pretty one. I really do enjoy it. Again, it is a clone, so it is not the actual device from the makers. This is, the actual one is made in the Philippines though just if you guys were interested. So I will provide links as to where you can get this one and where you can get the authentic one. Uh, but basically this device has been performing excellent. It is made out of phantom brass, which is a combination of a few different metals. So I don't exactly know which ones, but all I know is it is, I think it's like brass with some other sort of metal in there that makes it look sort of darker, which is why it's called phantom brass. Now, as you can see, this device kicks out a lot of vapor for whatever you have on there. Now, that is going to be dependent on whatever you have on there, as I said, so you're going to have to build your coils accordingly. Now, also, you have to be safe with mechanical mods. You have to use 30 amp batteries, I recommend, even if you're vaping at like 1 ohm, I would still recommend getting 30 amp batteries just to be safe. That way, you can just be good all across the board. So as I said, Sony 30 amp is what I am using right now. So, um, yeah, that's basically all there is with this mod. Um, there's not much on here in regards to design. There is a serial number, which is of course fake since this is a clone. There is a sort of cool stingray design right here, which will show up more the more patina there is on this, the more you use it, because this is really as you can see, it's really light right now. I did a video of this earlier, but it didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. And this was even lighter in that one, but since I've been using this for a while, it is uh, getting darker already. So, um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. It does have, you know, ventilation holes for uh, gases that can, that can come from your battery, if that ever does happen. And it also does have airflow for your atomizer. So yes, that is pretty much it. And um, I will see you in the next video. I'm going to be reviewing the DNA30 Canamod from Cloudpour soon. A lot of good things, a lot of bad things about it. And yeah, so I am Tommy from Lemon Vapes, and this device has just been citrused.